What is going on guys? This is the safety pin that goes in the parachute. Today we're gonna be doing a test pull in the parachute to make sure everything functions correctly. So right now we are working on this bracket here. We're trying to get it fit into the car. If you can't tell, we kind of removed the whole console and everything, but we've got a part of the uh, the trans tunnel here that Harry actually prepped and got ready to weld and Poe's gonna help out today. We're trying to get this bracket welded onto the trans tunnel right there so that hopefully, where did it go? Where'd the little handle go? I lost it. Oh yeah, there it is. Hopefully after welding our bracket right here in place, we'll be able to have our handle right here next to the hydro so that way we can actually pull it and deploy the chute out of the back i have never been in a car with a parachute being pulled have you i don't think any of us have harry have you been in a car with a chute pulled no so i have no idea what to expect i haven't talked to anybody about what to expect but i do know that i have the harnesses in the car now and the seat and everything and all the bracings there uh, i do know that it's a quite a shock whenever you first pull it because the chute catches air and literally just like shocks the whole car and gets ready to stop very very quickly so that's going to be kind of interesting but um we're going to go out to a back road hopefully this afternoon and um go give it a test pull and hopefully there's no traffic or cars or cops or any of that around because i just want to be able to pull it see what it's like make sure that every things operational put it back in the car drive it back to the shop and then we'll repack it here so it should <laughs> all in all be like a 20 second 30 second process hopefully no problems will come from that device is broken so this man's using clamps <laughs> hey does it work i mean it's working so it can't be stupid yeah, we still were gonna use the device. device but then the bolt broke off in the vice so harry's been trying to work on getting it fixed not looking too good though might have to get a new vice bolt literally yeah. just sheared off in there okay look at what harry just did i don't know why i'm so mesmerized he took a cutting wheel and he literally cut the bolt in half that broke off and is now using a screwdriver to turn it. Damn. Damn. Yo. That's the sheared off broken bolt we can't use. Try this one. Yeah. You're gonna attach to the handle and you're gonna yeet that. Parachute's gonna get slung open right there. That's gonna be cool. What are these brackets even from? These brackets actually came with it. They came with it? Yep. I thought they came from the outer. Oh wait, these brackets. Yeah, those brackets. Oh yeah, these brackets are for the roll bar. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about the brackets oh. that came. No, yeah, these brackets are from the roll bar of the Miata. Wait, why don't we use those? Ah, uh, because we welded it in, instead of bolting it in. These are the brackets that go behind the metal so that you can bolt it together, but you remember we just welded it? It would have been so much easier to just bolt that on, or weld that on and weld the cage to that. Now yeah. we got brackets for our- Now we got brackets for the car. It's welded up fairly nicely. Yeah, you did good on this. That looks really good. That is solid. Very nice, Paul, very nice. That's about the most professional thing I've ever seen. Don't mind the hardware that we used. We used uh, hardware that was passed down from a few different projects, but uh, we made it work. You want me to just hold Doesn't it? Doesn't that look like a race car thing? It looks like a race car thing. Okay. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I know, but hang on, we're gonna double check. It's still pinned. You don't, no, I'm, I gotta, pull here, it. you hold it with both hands, pull and it. let me pull it so I can. Pull it! Yeah. Are you ready? Bop it to start. Pull it. Nuh-uh, are you serious? Look, see I told you it keeps coming. Whenever you pull the chute, it's pushing this mm -hmm. out. All right, here we go. We're about to attempt oh. to weld. Unfortunately, we don't have a 220 extension cord yet. So the 220 plug up is right there and we're running it on 110s, unfortunately. So it's a sad day. Poe doesn't like welding on 110, but it's gonna work. All right, just for shigs and bibbles, we're gonna have a fire extinguisher right behind me for any, if anything goes wrong. That's a problem then because of one key thing in this fire extinguisher, I believe has already been used. Mm. Yeah, we don't have a full fire extinguisher, but we should get at least one puff. Hey, and we're actually doing it the right way. We disconnected the battery before welding on the car. We did that the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we did that every time, I promise. What are these called? Your FRs? Is that right? Yeah, those are the FRs. We're wearing proper PPE in the car. I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> we're using it to keep the uh, the slag off of the carpet so it doesn't catch on fire, hopefully. Let me see if this ground even works. Oh! oh. Yeah, that guy cabrón. So what are you doing? Making sure the ground works. Ow, it's hot. Yeah, that's a cabrón. I found it. Spanish laugh. Ow! I found it too. Ooh! Yeah, it's kind of hot. Ah! 
Dude, it really got me good. Yeah, it got me good too, right uh, here. I feel like this car is really gonna burn down right now. Like, I have a really bad feeling that it's just gonna catch fire and burn down. Do that. Don't don't even say that. Go get a water cup. <laughs> water cup? Bro, we're not wetting the carpet. Alright, so we're catching this bitch on fire. No, we're not. Let's do it. No, we're not. Chill out. Hang on, let me grab a cup so I'm ready to get water just in case. Is it gonna shock the fuck out of me? No. Are you sure? Yes, positive. It How? won't shock you. Why not? It's not gonna shock you, it's just gonna be hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. For a second, and then you can let go. I'm just gonna attack it. it. You're not gonna feel anything. Hang on. I don't know where to line it up either. That's, That's why I'm why, you Okay, it. here. Okay, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. Chill out. Put it toward the front more. Okay, now angle it down more. Yeah, like that, right there. Fuck! Who the f put this bitch on grind? <laughs> here, look at me. Every time you use it, put it on well. What in the hell? Oh, that's right on a hole too. Yeah, it's tacked on. Po, that is not straight at all. <laughs> po. It'll work. That's, that's the joy of attack. Okay, there you go. One second. Let me get the f out of here because I. <laughs> he said, "Dude, it'll work." <laughs> Turn the heat down a lot. Uh, okay. A quarter turn. It's the arc volts, right? Okay, quarter turn. All right, there you go. Turn it down a lot. Oh, look at that CTSV boy. Oh. Ah, ah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let me get out. Hey, for real. That shit burned the f out of my leg. I don't want to die. I also don't want to bring your car down. I'm watching. Let's believe that bitch catch on fire. I'm pulling your ass out. It's gonna hurt, but I'm gonna pull your ass out. I'd rather get out than die. So you're not gonna die. You're gonna die. I got you. Go. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could weld because I'm really tiny. I could fit in there very nicely. Ow! It's on my foot. What? So it's your fault if it looks like ass because I literally cannot stand welding on 110. It's okay. It's hey, like, if, is it solid? Oh, it's solid. Then it's gonna I mean, be fine. Your your only uh, weak weak spot is gonna be as thin as the metal is on the trans tunnel. So I mean, it'll move like a little bit, but like it's not. Fine. Wiggle it a little bit. Oh, that's gonna be fine. Yeah, but like going this way, there's no play going this way. Realistically, if you wanted me to, I can make a cross brace to make it a little bit stronger. Mm, I think that's gonna be fine. No need for it. Grab that. Worst case in the future, if it's getting weak or anything, we can do that. But for right now, I think that's fine. Thank you, Poe. Sorry, it actually doesn't look that good. <laughs> no, it's gonna be fine, Poe. If it holds, then it's gonna look great. Looky there, hey, boy. Man. Hey, Harry, go to the back real quick and make sure that whenever I pull it, the, uh, the wire comes out. Oh! Oh yeah, it put it back work. in, let me get it from the back. Hard, brother. Look, she's erect now. <laughs> you really don't have to pull it as far as I thought you would either. Everybody has these key tags and everything. I feel so official because now I actually have one on the car. Yeah, yeah, brother. You're on It's Just a Six YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so check it out. The inside is completely finished up. It looks fantastic. Harry pretty much eyeballed the cuts right there and got it perfectly lined up, so that is awesome. The bracket's all in place. The handle is going to work perfect. I just got to get a nut now for the piece on the cable right here. I don't know why but for some reason i cannot find the nut that goes right there so i gotta go run to the store real fast pick up a nut for that i went ahead and flashed on a really 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 soft tune from vmp and harry here well oh i thought you were in the window still harry's gonna help me uh figure out a little bit better method to actually launching the car because plain and simple i really suck at launching this car because of the twin disc clutch that's in it and it makes it really hard to even learn with so much power being put through the car so we're gonna take a step backward to hopefully take two steps forward we're gonna drop down to a 79 millimeter pulley from the 72 that's on the car so it's gonna be making a ton less power especially with that tune but the benefits to it is that it's gonna be soft enough for me to be able to actually go out and really really do hundreds and hundreds of launches and hopefully get to learn this car perfectly that way whenever we go to this next event that I'm keeping secret from you guys right now I'll be able to swap one of the small pulley and hopefully make a lot of power and be able to launch properly So give us just a second We're gonna swap on the 79 millimeter pulley and we've already got the tune flashed on and then we're gonna go take this thing for a ride Oh, it's a 17. I forgot. Oh, that's right. They did they went to the super HD tensioner from VMP That's probably why oh my god that tensioner is one hell of a tensioner. Okay. There we go Now we got to take out this pulley. This is a really sad day Part out coming soon. No, not really. <laughs> if I still can't learn to launch after this though, I probably will part it out. Either that or I'm gonna just give it away to charity and somebody else can try to launch it. I'm gonna just quit. I'm gonna delete my whole channel, sell everything, and I'm gonna move to Puerto Rico with Harry. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, oh no, this is so weird. We're about to get consistent. Harry's gonna help me get yeah, really good at launching. So It'll help, yeah. Basically, long story short is I put this clutch in there and I never had time to actually learn the clutch because we went to an event on like 850 wheel horsepower, or 800 wheel horsepower. The day, no, two or three days after I put the clutch in the car and then blew the motor up after three passes. 
Yeah, so like I haven't really gotten to have much practice with it and every bit of the practice that I've had in between each time We've done so many different things. So anyways though I'm basically gonna try to learn how to launch with little power in the car just because the whole car is gonna be set up Identical, it's just not gonna be as powerful. So it'll be the same setup suspension wise the same seat setup That's another thing too. We just put a whole new seat and everything in there So I'm gonna have to learn all kinds of stuff now go big or go home. No, no I just ordered tattoos five of them Great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, though, we're going to finish putting the pulley on here. And, well, actually, we're pretty much done. I've done this exact thing. It's going to be harder to put that belt on now, huh? A little bit, but it's the same. This belt will fit a few different sizes because of this tensioner. Shout out VMP again. There we go. Just tighten those up. Be very careful, though. I'm serious. Those bolts will shear off. I've sheared one or two, <laughs> as you know how my tightening goes. I'm going to go to start it real fast and then turn it off. Just make sure that it's uh, that it's actually on track. <laughs> This thing feels like a race car. <laughs> it is, dog. I forgot. I gotta put my uh, street plug back in. Dorothy once said, "This ain't Kansas anymore." This ain't Kansas anymore. This ain't a street car anymore. Street car plug. This is a full street car now, just like that. All it took was oh, a pulley so swap, a, a tune, and a plug. Car. Yeah, as long as the plug is in, it's still a street car. But as soon as that plug comes out, bro, it's a race car. All right, let me get, let me back out real quick. The, it was still jacked up. I wasn't recording when it happened, but they were backing up on the jack. Don't even take the jack out. I didn't touch the jack. It was me. <laughs> we did the pulley job. I forgot the jack. <laughs> did it hit it? No, no. The, the car was lifted up on the jack, and the jack thing was down, so it was just moving with the jack, like on the pumpkin. Okay, good. All right, watch out. Let me back this thing out. Is this thing knocking? Sounds like it's like slightly ticking or something. Something's going on. Y'all didn't hear that noise just now whenever I backed up? It went like dunk dunk. Y'all didn't leave anything loose back there or nothing? There ain't no bolts in that? No, there's bolts in it. That bolt's loose. <laughs> like I said, we gotta run first to go grab a nut from probably Lowe's. And then after that, we're gonna go to somewhere to eat. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna go yet, but uh, we're gonna go grab some food. And then after that, I guess we're gonna go uh, do our test pull in the parachute. This is weird. <laughs> I gotta put harnesses on now. I feel like you're in a roller coaster and you're getting strapped down. I haven't had a car with harnesses in so long. The last time I had a car with harnesses, it was the 370. So that should give you like a, an idea of how long it's been. It's been a hot minute. A lot, a lot minute, yeah. Y'all follow me to Lowe's? All right. I really don't know how to exactly explain it, but it, it you feel so much more out. You feel like you're one with the car whenever you're this planted like all the factory stuff like all the factory bushings and the suspension the factory suspension itself the factory seats even everything has cushion and comfort and everything else whenever you start going this far into a car you literally can just feel every part of it all right we got our little piece here we're gonna run inside real quick grab a nut we'll be right back <laughs> it's so weird seeing it places <laughs> i think this is gonna work maybe all right that's gonna work the there we go than the size it was. that's gonna work oh hey austin hey y'all i don't know if y'all saw this but there's a whole ass race car outside oh, right you. now Austin's How did you get a flying me out shirt? And, and my hat. hat. And my hat. <laughs> Austin reps for everybody, dog. Austin's the merch guy. Things are really inconvenient once you get harnesses, but at least it's safe, right? I really just want to do a pull. Oh, there's a state trooper right to my left. <laughs> okay, guys. We have made it to our designated location in Mexico. All right, I'm going to have him pull his engine pin. I'm going to pull his remove before flight pin. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Safety pins out. Everything's good to go, right? Everything's good to go. Y'all ready? Yep.
Open your trunk. Dude. Open your trunk. It's okay. It's okay. Chill. That was actually not bad at all. Oh, that honest. worked beautifully. It, it did. It worked great. Perfect. Look, it doesn't even it doesn't even jerk you. You literally can't even feel whenever you deploy it. You deploy it and it literally just starts gradually slowing you down. It's like it's like imagine if you're pushing the brakes about halfway. Really? It feels like. It's not even like dude, I was racing. I was, I was like, one, two, three, and I was like <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the shop. Let's roll. Hey, you can vlog with that camera if you want to. It's all kind of Welcome to Poe Boy! I'm just kidding. <laughs> we were over here worried about it setting off the airbags and all kinds of stuff. It wasn't bad at all. Let me do a test launch. Parachute on the back. I would call that a success. <laughs> How was it losing your virginity to parachuting? It's very great. You want to go skydiving after this? No. <laughs> <laughs> that thing got all twisted up. Was it twisting that bad whenever I pulled it? Dog, it was like, woo! <laughs> Anyways, guys, there we have it. Today was a success. We got the parachute handle mounted in there with our new bracket that we made. Poe got it all welded up in the car without actually setting it on fire. Huge success. We also went and got our first test hit or test pull 
with the parachute in without even getting pulled over and arrested by the cops. Nothing really bad happened today yet. Knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood. So anyways, that is probably going to be all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take it. If you won't give it to me, I'm